hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how to do this really nice fun summer loose twist hairstyle you guys know loose twists are my go-to style all year round especially during the summer so i'm going to show you guys how i do it and i'm also going to be introducing you guys to josie curls a new line of products that just launched and i'm super excited about so now let's jump straight into the video hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how i got this really adorable really beautiful summer hairstyle and oh my god i am in love with the way this thing turned out and i'm going to introduce you guys to a new line of products that just launched and i tried them out on my hair i'm going to tell you guys my entire experience in the video i don't want to get too excited and start talking too much for this intro but yeah um, if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below turn your notification bell so that you be notified for when i upload my videos and without further ado sit tight and let's jump straight into the video so first I'm going to be starting with cleansing and I'm using the hydrating shampoo which is free of sulfates, colorants and parabens. All their um, products are really clean, cruelty free with um, good ingredients and um, this is the sulfate free shampoo and the African extracts in this are marula oil and raw shea butter. All the products as well have African extracts and the ingredients are grown on local farms in Africa. The first thing I noticed that this is a very lightweight shampoo, however, it does get the job done. So it, initially when I first applied it, it wasn't really lathering. So I wasn't sure if it was because of the lightness of the shampoo or just because my hair was really, really oily. But after I rinsed out the first round of shampoo and then um, put another round, I started to really see my hair lathering. So my hair was just very, very oily. That's why I didn't lather. But this shampoo does clean your hair really, really well. And as you guys saw, after I put the second round of shampoo, I really started to get a lot of lathering on my hair. So that first round really cleaned my hair, even though it didn't lather. And since it's a moisturizing shampoo, it doesn't really strip your hair or dry out your hair. So if you have dry, damaged, or frizzy hair, you really like this shampoo. Um, after I'm done washing my entire head of hair, we're going to jump next into um, conditioning. So next, I'm going to be using the moisture, moisturizing conditioner. It's also free of sulfates, colorants, and parabens. And the African extracts in this are baobab, moringa, and aloe vera. It's a very soft conditioner that just literally just glides through your hair. And it's perfect for finger detangling and removing shed hair. If you also want to use a brush or comb, you will be fine. Because it has enough slip that just helps your detangling process. My favorite products from Josie Curls are definitely the two conditioners, the moisturizing conditioner and the leave-in conditioner and also the curl enhancing spray. One thing I would say is Josie Curls knows how to formulate conditioner. Their conditioners are amazing. And all the products have a very nice, sweet, fresh, floral, vanilla scent. Like I said, the conditioner contains Moringa and Moringa has a ton of benefits for your hair and it helps to boost keratin production, it helps to restore strength and promote hair growth and repair damaged hair. It also has a lot of minerals that can also help the health of your hair. You guys already know how beneficial aloe vera is for your hair and aloe vera is con contained in the conditioner as well. Baobab oil is high in omega-3 fatty acids and is used in a lot of hair masks and leave-in conditioners to help strengthen brittle hair and help to moisturize your hair. So I'm just going to leave my hair in a plastic bag, then rinse it out, and we're going to jump straight into styling. So I went ahead and did this side of my hair. Um, I had a style in mind, but I wasn't really sure how it was going to come out, so I just used this side to practice. And I'm going to show you guys what I do on this side. So I used the curl enhancing spray and the leave-in conditioner to do this side. The first thing I noticed about these two is that they are extremely hydrating, like really, really hydrating. And it actually says it on the pack that it's recommended for dry hair. So if your hair gets dry easily, the, you will love these two products, especially this one. It gives your hair a very, very soft feeling. My hair is really coarse, and I say this all the time. It's, it's not that many products that can really soften my hair. So whenever I find products that can actually really soften and hydrate my hair, I fall in love. And this, these two together, especially the leave-in conditioner, they give my hair a really, really nice and soft feeling. I am extremely shocked that these things are $5 each. I have to go through these ingredients again one by one because I need to know what exactly they put in this that is making my hair feel the way it does. It must really have some amazing conditioning ingredients in this. Okay, so let's start doing this part of my hair and um, yeah, let's finish up the stuff. Okay, so now we're going to start with sectioning and as you can see, I'm doing a section in front for my bangs. 
Okay, I'm going to split that into two. Next, I'm going to be taking the Curl Enhancing Spray, which is also free of colorants, parabens, and phthalates, and has African extracts, raw shea butter, honey bush, and marula oil. Next, I'm also going to be taking the Leave in Conditioner, which is free of sulfates, colorants, and parabens. And the African extracts in this are baobab, moringa, and aloe vera. So the same um, African extracts that are in the um, moisturizing conditioner. The Curl Enhancing Spray is basically a spray leave-in conditioner. It has a non-greasy formula, so it's not going to make your hair super oily. And that also helps to prevent buildup. And it gives your hair a very nice smooth feeling and adds a healthy shine. So for the next section, as you guys can see, I'm doing one from the middle of my head down to my ear. And I'm going to just keep that out of the way. That is going to be like the most difficult part that we do, so I'm keep keeping that for last. For the back, we're just going to do simple loose twists. So I spray the curl enhancing spray, then put the leave-in conditioner and just do a loose twist. I've done so many loose twist tutorials on my channel. It's the same process. You twist the roots firmly, twist the body loosely and twist the ends firmly. If you guys want a more detailed tutorial on how to actually do the loose twist, click the eye at the top. You'll see it in that video. And I'm also going to leave a playlist down below for all my other loose twist videos. But it's pretty straightforward. Even if you don't have thick hair, the technique for doing loose twists gives you the illusion of thicker hair. The curl enhancing spray is something that you definitely want to use daily, especially if you have low porosity hair because it helps to maintain the moisture levels in your hair. Water is the first ingredient and it also contains glycerin which is a really nice humectant. So these are all my loose twists at the back as you guys can see, nice clean loose twists. Just for counting purposes, I have about 44 or 46 loose twists at the back. So now for this section, this is it's technically a difficult section to do, it's just the hardest out of all of them. And it's a little bit difficult for me to explain, but I'm going to try my best to explain what I did. So basically I just did little tiny loose twists in the shape of like a, um, for them to form kind of like a ponytail sort of. So you guys will see what I'm doing. So I'm just doing little tiny loose twists. I had about... Seven loose twists in that section, but just watch the direction that they're going in. I'm also going to put a clip by the side so you guys to see how it's supposed to look like at the end. So just small, tiny, tiny loose twists around. So now for the loose twists, sorry, for the flat twists at the side. So I'm just um, doing my flat twist, then make the rest of the twist loose so it blends with the other loose twists that I have. So I'm done twisting. I hope that this last section was easy for you guys to see what I did. Um, but like I said, I inserted the clip so you guys to see how it looks. But this is how your hair should be looking though at the end. Next, we're going to jump into beading and that is what is really going to bring out the beauty of this style. So now I'm going to be putting beads and I'm using a white beader that comes in the pack of beads and I've done the beads on the rest of my head. I'm just going to do the beads on my bangs. So what you do is you basically use the beader to push the bead onto your hair, move it up to about where you want the bang to stop and then do a bantu knot at the end. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, using the leave-in conditioner and the curl enhancing spray together is an amazing moisture combo for your hair. Because they deeply hydrate your hair and give it a nice soft feeling and they're not too greasy or thick so they won't give you build up which can prevent moisture from getting into your hair. Next I'm going to be using hair and scalp oil. This oil is also free of colorants, parabens and phthalates and the African extracts in this are raw shea butter and marula oil. And um, this is great for your hair and your scalp. You can also put it on your ends to avoid split ends. Um, when I was going through the ingredients though, I did notice that this has mineral oil So I just want to put that out there for people that do not like to use products with mineral oil Mineral oil is one of those ingredients that has a very bad rep in the natural hair community for whatever reason But if you actually do your research though, you see that it's not that bad Especially considering the fact that most cosmetic companies use refined grade mineral oil And if you're cleansing your hair, you really do not have much to worry about but yeah, as you can see, I used hair ties to tie up the front part of my hair that I did those tiny loose twists. And this is the final result. Now I'm just going to get into more details about my thoughts on the entire line. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Ah! Anyways, you guys know all my loose twist styles are always nice. So, <laughs> you guys know how much I love doing loose twist styles. Like, they, are, I feel like they are the most beautiful styles you can do on 4C hair. 
loose twist oh my god even if your hair is shorter i used to do loose twists when my hair was much shorter too and it always used to come out nice i love the way they look they just oh god i am in love with this okay so my final thoughts on these products wow i feel like this brand is really about to break in heavily into the um natural hair market i feel like they're about to really take over like really dominate because the products are amazing quality and the price point these products are five dollars each i still cannot wrap my head around that um so yeah i'm really excited to see where this company is about to go within the next one to two years especially in the natural hair community because their products are amazing i'm even proud that this is a south african company and the ingredients are gotten from local farms i'm so excited i honestly do not I, I i'm just happy to be honest you guys know my staple for brand and i'm telling you these products are i can't believe i'm saying this but they're actually better than two out of the four brands that I love for my hair like so I I'm I'm happy I'm really happy I am excited I just I honestly like it's a complete line that's another thing too it is a complete line you have a moisturizing shampoo you have a conditioner you have um, a leave-in conditioner you have a curl pudding you have a, um, a leave-in spray and you guys know how much I rave and rant about leave-in sprays especially people with lower porosity hair or people that struggle with dryness you need a leave-in spray so I'm happy that they have that in the line now, the only thing I can suggest for them to add is maybe a clarifying shampoo because you know you also need a clarifying shampoo along with a moisturizing shampoo because um, depending on how much product you use in your hair and how much stuff you put in your hair once in a while you have to clarify to get all that build up off of your hair so that moisture can absorb into your hair but that is the only thing everything else in the line is spot on i'm going to insert a clip of when i was in target looking at the product they actually do have a gel but i didn't get the gel because i don't really use gels so i have very 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 coarse hair so not that many things make my hair feel soft so whenever i find products that make my hair feel really soft i know that those products are extremely hydrating because it's that hydration and um the emollients in the products that really help to soften my coarse strands like i said they do have a curl pudding this is it right here a curl hydrating pudding see it almost looks it has a gel like consistency but it's quite thick it actually does feel like actual pudding i'd honestly love to use this on my hair and see how it feels but this is something i feel i would use in the winter during the summer i like to keep my um stuff i put in my hair very light that is why um, I'm even more excited about the leave-in conditioner in this line because it gives there sometimes when I use a leave-in but I still have to use like a thicker cream on it just to give my hair that really softening effect but with this leave-in I get that with the leave-in alone so I don't even need to use a thicker cream and that's what I like for the summer I don't like to pack on stuff on my hair during the summer um, I prefer to use lighter product if you have any questions at all definitely leave it down below I hope the process for how I did this hairstyle was easy for you guys to follow this line made me very happy i'm really excited for josie curls i'm really excited to see where the band goes i'm really really excited to see what they do so um on a scale of one to ten i'm giving josie curls a fat fat big ten like ten tens across the board they nailed the formulation the scent of the product is so fresh it's so like it has this notes of vanilla in it just gives you this very relaxing feeling and another thing i love is when products smell nice so i like my hair to be smelling really nice and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share you can subscribe to my channel by clicking subscribe button down below on my face on this side also do not forget to watch my other loose twist videos on this side i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys